Hi, I'm Chris Bradshaw from Hexagon and in this short video we'll learn how to get set up and started with CADWorks Plant Professional. Now, when you launch CADWorks for the very first time, this is the dialog box that you see first of all. Within here you can select your drawing environment, that is do you wish to work in a metric or an imperial environment and do you wish to use metric or inch nominal pipe sizes. Here I will pick metric measurements and imperial nominal sizes. Of course, you can change this at any time, as we'll see in a few seconds. Upon closing the dialog box, then CADWorks will start and load the ribbon tabs where we can access the various different functions. Now, in this video, I just want to show you only a couple of the necessary parts just to be able to get started routing pipe. We'll go into this in more detail in later videos. So, the first important button to take note of is this one here, the first button on the ribbon, Setup. This displays the CADWORKS setup dialog and in here there are some important settings to be aware of. So the initial page is current drawing which provides options and information on the current drawing settings. And the second page is the configuration settings. Now in here there are a number of variables and options that can be set. This includes the drawing prototype. Should you wish to change the drawing environment uh, the same as the dialog box that we were presented with a few seconds ago. Another key setting shown in here is the specification directory. This is the folder that the CADWorks specification files must be stored in. Um, if this field is blank you might see a warning message um, and for now I would advise you to set this to the CADWorks install folder and then pick the plant and then the spec subfolders, the same as you can see on my screen here. Uh, for any setting in this list though, note that information on that particular setting that you've got selected, that's shown at the bottom of the list in the box, and further help is available using the help button at the uh, bottom of the dialog box or hitting the F1 key on your keyboard. There are further pages within the setup dialog box, including the size and spec page where you can select and set the current specification and size, we'll come back to this one in a minute and there's also a layers section and a section on the piping rules. Again, these are some things that we will explain and cover in a later video, although it does tend to be fairly self-explanatory anyway. There's also some miscellaneous sections that I won't go into right now. Now, the next button that we're going to look at is this one here, Spec View. This loads up what we call the Spec View palette, and that tends to be the main place to root pipe and insert components. So the palette that will display, I've got it docked here on the left hand side, it's currently empty because I've got no spec loaded. The list um, will display all available components in the spec once I have one loaded, so that's the first thing to do, load a spec. That's done using the first button in the palette so that we can open a spec. So if you hit the button to display the dialog box, um, this is also, by the way, that same screen is available in the spec section of the setup window. Um, but in here, use the browse button to locate the pipe spec uh, project file or a PRJ file. Remember, this must be located in the folder specified in the configuration settings uh, from earlier. Here, I'm just going to pick the out of the box supplied metric inch specs file. Now, each project contains one or more pipe specs. Those specs are listed and you can select them from the list on the left. And then the list on the right shows the nominal sizes available in the selected specification. All you do, simply click to put a check in the M or R columns to set the main and reduction sizes respectively. So here what I'll do, I will choose a 6 inch main size and a 4 inch reduction size. On clicking OK, then the list in the spec view palette now shows all the available components for the selected size in the chosen pipe spec. Any item that's shown in red here, they're reducing items. So, routing pipe, well that's done via the top item in the list, the pipe entry. Clicking on this will launch the pipe router, and routing pipe, it's a similar process to routing a 3D polyline. First of all, you pick the start point. Of course, you can just pick a point on screen, or you can enter a coordinate. Here, I'm just going to enter 000 at the origin. And we're now routing pipe. The compass there is displayed to help. Uh, notice that the pipe will snap to the angles in the compass, which uh, for me, they're at 45 degrees. This, this is controlled by the polar settings. And for now, I'm going to turn the ortho on. And 
I'm now rooting. Elbows are added wherever I change direction. If I need to root a vertical leg, I just drag in that direction. I don't need to worry about changing planes. All of that's handled automatically by CADWorks. So I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out using the link at the bottom. And thanks for watching.